<laughs> there it is, right there. Beauty. Love it. <laughs> All right. And see that one appears to be flat on one side, like maybe uh, it's flatted something. Yeah. It is flat on one side. Yeah, it splatted something hard. <laughs> Let's see if we find some more. Okay. This is another one. All right. Oh, now. Now we're talking. Mm. That looks more like something you see from Civil War era. That's cool. That one's one to research, figure out what that is. I'm not dug a bullet like that. I dug one that was kind of like that, a solid base at San Jacinto one time, and we had to kind of figure out what it was. So sometimes it's fun to figure out what you got. There it is. Can you see the edge of it? Here we go. You see that one's flattened also. Where it's hit something. That same funny pearlized color. I'm not sure what you call that. There it is. Sweet. In the hole. All right. Fill her up. Working on it. <laughs> Great job. Back to it. Help having those headphones on, huh? Yeah. You can really hear the sounds good. So, uh, what was the conductivity? Uh, it was 60, 62. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did you first hear it as a whisper of sound? How did that go? No, it was loud. Okay. Yeah, it wasn't but about four inches deep, so it was loud. Mm -hmm. Nice, good, clean, consistent sound. You know, in these weeds and sticks, you want to get a good, repeatable uh, target sound, and that was clear as a bell and very loud. Mm -hmm. So perfect. Steve, tell us a little bit about today's event. Yeah, I'm Steve Moore. I'm with Garrett, and we've been out today hunting on a historic Texas ranch. Uh, dates back to the 1800s, and prior to that, there was a, reportedly an Indian village out here. So we've been out with the AT Pro, uh, Robert Jordan and I, and we've had some pretty good luck digging musket balls and 
you know, quite a variety of sizes. If you look at some of these, you know, this one's smaller, like a buckshot or bucking ball size. You know, larger, uh, probably musket ball. And then one here, I would guess, was probably more of a, a pistol ball size. And uh, those are the three primary sizes we dug. And the double D coil and this AT Pro is just, you know, really good at pinpointing and putting you right on those targets and digging them up. And as you can see about what uh, Robert and I came up with today, we you know, had a pretty good afternoon out here. <laughs> I'm spent. I'm my job, but I had fun. A lot of times you go to those places and hunt for hours and you get, you know, two or three balls and that's about it. But today we were very successful. Uh, using the AT Pro was a lot of fun. Uh, it's, it's kind of opening up another world.